an adventure beyond your wildest imagination. Sierra Online introduces a whole new dimension in software entertainment. Sierra Online, 1980, the breakout year. Founded by a couple, two people only, Ken and Roberta Williams, and Sierra go on to become the largest computer game company. Now, Ken Williams, the founder of the company, was actually working on a Fortran compiler for the Apple II home computer. And when he wasn't doing that, his wife, Roberta, was playing text adventures on the thing. The woman after my own heart. The company that made him online systems later went on to become Sierra Online, so there's, they were sort of a big deal. Their first major release um, as online uh, was Mystery House. Where you were in a house of mystery, a Victorian house, which they're all mysterious, so kind of redundant house. Which is an Infocom style text adventure, but it actually has graphics. Visuals! Right. And at some point or another she realized, hey, why the crap don't these things have graphics? Text adventures, graphics, Apple II, graphics, makes sense, but nobody was doing it. Mystery House and Wizard and the Princess, both were sort of the first graphical adventures that's debated on the internet. Please don't write me letters. You can see the room, and no longer are you limited to your boring old imagination, but you can actually that? see the pictures uh, as, you, as you progress. And there was a murderer in the house killing people, that's what murderers do one by one, so it's your job to make sure that the murderer doesn't kill everyone. Find out who they are, do all that gumshoe stuff. Now, I'm gonna admit, I don't like CR games that much because they're very rooted in a specific time in, in, in the computer gaming era where the point of a computer game was to hurt you, to challenge you, to leave you stumped for a long period of time. And it started with Mystery House, which wasn't that difficult, but eventually Sierra spawned an entire legacy of very difficult games. To me, the greatest thing about Sierra is that Mystery House was very influential, according to the creators of Dragon Quest, in creating Dragon Quest. And then they went on to do uh, The Wizard and the Princess, which added color, and they very quickly realized that graphics would be a selling point to a large chunk of their audience. Where there was a kingdom of Serenia, and the princess had been stolen, taken away, off somewhere, you're a random passerby who was chosen to be valiant, and brave, and all that good stuff because everybody else in the kingdom sucked. Adults at the time were probably more likely willing to do something like Infocom, right? Read, use their adventures like a book. But to kids, to anyone younger who was getting into computers, the wow factor of the graphics, combined with the ease of like navigating something you can actually see, quickly put them on the map. It was actually the precursor to the King's Quest games, which really got Sierra popular. This is what Sierra gave to the gaming world. This could not be overlooked. Adventure games, graphic adventure games. And these would you know, dominate the computer gaming market for the next 15 years. Space Quest, King's Quest, Police Quest. I'm not even gonna imagine a world without this game. It's sad. So that's very important that they had the first graphics in a computer game and that cannot be understated how important that was and Sierra was a company of first. Good guy Sierra. <laughs>